Hello, fabulous third graders. Today we are going to talk about how we round two-digit and three-digit numbers. So before we begin rounding, let's take a look at a poem that helps us remember the rules of rounding. Here is the rounding roller coaster. Circle the place, look next door, four or less, just ignore. Circle the place, look next door, five or higher, add one more. And notice on the chart that four, three, two, one, and zero are the digits that are four or less. And five, six, seven, eight, and nine are the digits that are five or higher. So what does this mean? Well, let's say we're given the direction to round a number to the nearest 10. Let's take the number 451. Well, the poem tells us to circle the place. Well, that's the place we're rounding to. In this case, we're rounding to the tens, so we're going to circle the five, the digit in the tens place. Circle the place, look next door. Well, when we look next door, we're looking at the digit to the right. Now, the digit to the right is a one, and that is four or less. So circle the place, look next door, four or less, just ignore. Well, that digit next door becomes the boss digit. And when it tells the five to just ignore, it means that the five has to stay the same in the rounded number. So when we write our new rounded number, five is still going to be written five in the tens place. But that one, that digit to the right of the place we're rounding to becomes a zero. It becomes a round digit. Kind of helps you remember it's a round digit when we're rounding. Now, we only looked at the tens place and the digit to the right. Any digit to the left of the place we're rounding to will stay the same. So that four is just going to stay a four. Because remember, if you have a three-digit number and you need to round it, you need to round it to a three-digit number. So 451 rounded to the nearest 10 would be 450. That means that 451 is closer to 450 than it is to 460. What about the direction to round a number to the nearest 100? We're going to use the same poem, and we're going to use the same number, 451. Circle the place. Well, the place that we're rounding to is the hundreds place. So we're going to circle the four, the digit in the hundreds place. Circle the place, look next door. We're looking at the digit to the right. This is the digit become, that becomes the boss digit. Now, you'll notice that five is on the side of five or higher. So circle the place, look next door, five or higher, add one more. So the boss digit tells the four that it has to add one more. So one more than four is five. So in our rounded number, the four becomes a five. Now, anything to the right of the digit that we're rounding, like the five and the one, well, they become zeros. So 451 rounded to the nearest hundred is 500. So that means that 451 is closer to 500 than it is to 400. Now we're going to do some problems together from Reteach 2.3. We're going to do the top section first. Let's pull up our rounding roller coaster poster and look at the directions. The directions for the top part is to round each number to the nearest 10. So let's start with number one. 134. Circle the place. Well, I'm rounding to the nearest 10, so the place I'll circle is the tens place. Look next door. I'm going to look at the digit to the right. Four or less, just ignore. So that four becomes the boss digit to tell the three that it has to stay the same. So when I write my new rounded number, the digit in the tens place is going to remain a three. 
but anything to the right of that place is going to be a zero. And anything to the left of this place, well, that's going to stay the same. So 134 rounded to the nearest 10 is 130, because 134 is closer to 130 than it is to 140. Let's look at number 2. 42. Circle the place. Well, we're rounding to the tens place, so we'll circle the four. Look next door. We look at the digit to the right. Four or less, just ignore. So that boss digit, that two, tells the four to stay the same. So when I write my rounded number, the digit in the tens place will still be four. And anything to the right of that place is going to become a zero. So 42 rounded to the nearest 10 is 40, because 42 is closer to 40 than it is to 50. Let's take a look at number 6, 96. Circle the place. We're rounding to the nearest 10, so I'm going to circle the tens place. Look next door. We're going to look at the digit to the right. Five or higher, add one more. So that boss digit tells the nine to add one more. But what is one more than nine? It's 10. Now I can't write 10 in the tens place. I have to put that one in the hundreds place and the zero in the tens place. So there's my 10. And then anything to the right of that digit is going to become a zero. So 96 rounded to the nearest 10 is 100 because 96 is closer to 100 than it is to 90. Let's do number seven, 735. Circle the place. We're rounding to the nearest 10, so we're circling the tens place. Look next door. We're looking at the digit to the right five or higher add one more so this boss digit tells the three to add one more so when we write our rounded number we're going to write a new digit in the tens place one more than three is four now anything to the right of that place becomes a zero and anything to the left of the place stays the same. So 735 rounded to the nearest 10 is 740 because 735 is closer to 740 than it is to 730. We're going to do a couple more, but this time we're going to do some problems at the bottom of the page. And the directions at the bottom of the page are to round each number to the nearest hundred. So let's take a look at number 11, 278. Circle the place. Well, we're rounding to the nearest hundred, so we're going to circle the hundreds place. Look next door. We're going to look at the number to the right. Five or higher, add one more. So that boss digit tells the two that it has to add one more. So what's one more than two? it's three. And so when we write our new rounded number, the digit in the hundreds place is going to be one more than two, three. And then each of the digits to the right of that place are going to become zeros. So 278 rounded to the nearest hundred is 300 because 278 is closer to 300 than it is to 200. Okay, we're going to do one more together, and that's number 12. So let's take a look at 514. Circle the place. Well, we're rounding to the nearest hundred, so we're going to circle the hundreds place. Look next door. We're going to look at the digit to the right. Four or less, just ignore. So this boss number tells the five to stay the same. So when I write my new rounded number, that five is going to still be a five in the hundreds place. And those digits to the right of that place 
well they're going to become zeros so 514 rounded to the nearest hundred is 500 because 514 is closer to 500 than it is to 600